Hi guys and welcome to your September 2021. This is going to be the you versus them reading for the beautiful sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. If you're subscribed to the tribe and what's good fam bams, hello to my members, my patrons, and my coffee club members. Everything you need is below in the description box. Let's get started. Your reading starts now. The you versus them reading is a reading that is designed to take energy between you and the person that you're connected with, the person that you thought of when you saw the video, whatever popped into your mind when you saw the title and wherever your mind wants to take you. However, don't spend too much time um, figuring out what side is what. Allow the energy to roll through you, to flow through you and just resonate with what is coming out. It's general energy. Um, if it resonates with you, that's fantastic. If you would like it to resonate with you, throw those praying hands in the comments, claim that energy, set it aloud, say it aloud, affirm to that energy and move on. Let's get started. The blue side is going to be represented by this left side of the board, your other, your other left. The gold side is going to be represented, if I can get my hand coordination together. Is going to be represented by the right side, actually, your other right, okay? You resonate in a sign gender and um, the, uh, the responsibility or whatever, the blame, as you will in this video, okay? We are going to get started. The energy that is coming out for my blue side right now is the two of cups. There is an energy in the blue side of this board that feels as if it wants to connect. It wants to think about the connection. It may want to call a truce. This side of the board feels like I want to focus on the two cups. I want to focus on the love between us. This is a two of cups. The beautiful energy within this two of cups is also um, not just talking about the attraction and the bond that's developing and the connection. Um, and, you know, maybe calling it a truce, maybe going into an energy of healing severs between you guys, severed relationships or severed ties between you. This is also temperance. I want to do that and I want to find a way to do it one day at a time. I want to temper things between us. I want to find balance. Um, I want to be temperate, find the middle ground. I want to maintain balance. I want to, you know, renew. I want to heal. Um, I want to combine our choice, our, our, our forces. I want to consolidate. That is where my blue side is. The overall energy for my gold side is the seven of swords. Seven of swords is definitely an energy right now. It is called the great deceptor. This is a deceptive energy. Unfortunately, it is an energy um, that really wants to kind of run away. You know, I want to kind of leave, avoid um, obligations. I want to, you know, um, I don't want to face the music. I don't want to deal with the truth. I want to procrastinate, okay? It is also an energy of feeling like I'm the lone wolf. I don't want to decide. I want to be independent. I don't want to be as a couple. Um, it is also a hidden, the hidden dishonor that is here. This is also talking about the lion, the stealing, the two-facedness. That is what this card represents. This is also the chariot. Um, the chariot has or carries an energy, as you know, of victory, of hard will, of self-assertion, of hard control, really going in and doing it, having the, you know, the ability to do it. And with this, con this particular combination, the, 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 the question is, is clear. Is that deception good or bad? Is it serving you? Okay. You're using your will and your ego to run away from something that you don't want to deal with but is it helping or hindering you on my gold side okay the first card on my blue energy is a ace of cups beautiful ace of cups is what they want they want a brand new beginning in love they are in love with you okay right now um cancer pisces and scorpio energy coming out very very strong on my blue side my temperance energy is also major arcana, again, for the Sagittarius Collective. We also got out the Queen of Pentacles. This is a nurturing queen. This individual wants to not only um, say, let's, let's fix things, let's temper things, let's get back together as an overall energy. 
I'm in love with you, Libra. Okay, or I'm in love with you, gold side of my board. And now I want to give you, ve be very nurturing, be very gentle as I give you that commitment. Okay, what else is my blue side feeling? That's what they want to do, guys. Okay, what else are we feeling here? Right now, I don't know how to go about doing that. Okay, I don't know how to go about doing that right now. I am in hangman energy. There is an enlightenment within me. Okay, I know exactly what I want to do. But unfortunately, I don't know how to get there. This person cut their feelings off in the past. Um, they definitely had to kind of cut things off and go logic or go logical. Um, because there has been some things that has broken down between you guys. Um, obviously they've had to kind of like look at things from a logical perspective because it could have been, they were overthinking things from too much emotion because where they come from, the energy that is behind them is an energy of trying to figure out how to take the lead in this relationship with this three of wands and explore new ways of bringing or bridging the gap between you guys. Feeling like they don't know what to do. They didn't know what to do. They feel like they've tried everything. Okay, gold side, um, Libra. This person feels like they they every time they come with a tool, it's something else. They feel like they have tried. That is the energy that is behind them right now where they are now is back to the drawing board with the two of wands, okay? They went one step further feeling like I want to be explorative. I want to look out on the horizon and I want to think about how I can be a leader and how I can really come in with energy um, within this relationship or this union and really go for it. I have all of the energy. I have all of the drive, but what has happened? Something fell apart in the past. There is something that they tried to do. Maybe they didn't get through to you. Maybe they didn't talk loud enough. Maybe they didn't bang on, you know, the wall with the hammer um, hard enough in order to make it stick. Whatever they did, it did not work. Right now, what they want to do is go back to the drawing board, but they want to talk to you about it. This is a heated debate or a passionate conversation. Now, they want to go back to the drawing board, take a step back, okay, in that hey man mode and really think about what they can do going back to that two of wands and thinking, okay, what do I need to change within me? What personal power do I need to do? I need to grab a hold of. I am in love with Libra Go. I want to nurture. I want to give my pinnacle. This is what I want to do. There are some things in the past that did not work. Right now, I want to set, I want to heal that. There's a lot of healing energy on my blue side. I want to heal this. How do I do that? How do I get through to the gold side and let them know um, what we're so far now? So if I if I rewind it all the way back and go all the way back to the beginning, can I make it simpler again? What can I do to make this sim simple again? What must I do? to command the attention and respect of my Libra gold side so they can understand me and not blow me off and think that I'm just blowing smoke up their ass, but to really, really, really understand that I mean business. Let's get to the gold side. So right now, again, on the gold side, I explained and broke down overall that you are in the seven of swords energy, which is also the chariot. You feel very justified. And you feel very much so in a good place about the deception. You may not like the verbiage. You may not like the phrasing. But at the end of the day, when you have something going on that you are not telling someone else um, and it involves them, you know, there is a deception here. Now, again, you, you're very successful at it. You've been very successful at it. Um, there is a I want you to focus on what's going on right here while I sneak out the back door. Um, and that may be the most extreme version of that, but what you're doing, you feel like you have to do, you feel like you had to do it. You feel like you're very justified in doing that. Okay. Right now. Um, and, and, and that honestly is very much so because you feel 
something has broken down with you guys in the past. Give me energy of where my goal side is right now. And you are also trying to bring things into balance um, on your own. This is your six of pentacles. You feel like you're just trying to stay afloat. You feel like you're just trying to, you know, straddle the fence and be in the middle as a Libra. If, if, if you're resonating with this side, you're very much so about bridging the gaps between have and have nots and making sure that you walk that, um, that, that tight rope where you don't fall on one side or the other and you constantly balance these pinnacles. Now, um, you're trying to balance things out on your own right now. This does indicate that there is a dinner going on. Maybe there is people in your life. Maybe there are other individuals that's handing you or that's offering you a pinnacle goal side. Maybe you're working with other people. Maybe you are only focusing on people that are on your team. Either way, that's what you are doing right now. What else is going on for Libra Go? And as a result of that, you are trying to distance yourself from anything and everything that no longer serves you with this Eight of Cups. Again, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio energy. Major Arcana for Cancer and the overall energy. We also have Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn right now. Very pinnacle-minded things that are going on in your energy goal side with the addition of the eight of cups, distancing yourself from what no longer serves you, cutting through all of the bullshit that you feel like bothers you that goes along with making you feel a certain way. However, it has been a hard road for you because now this seven of pen, the seven of swords is starting to make more sense. You could be keeping up a glorified front on this goal side. You are obviously unhappy and your feelings are fluctuating. One minute you feel like you may want reconciliation with blue and the next minute you may feel like I'm on my own stuff right now. I don't want to be bothered. I'm only focusing on people, places and things that bring value to my life. Interesting point. Yes, there is people, places and things that you're around goal side that adds value to your life. But you still feel a void as much as you have went through the, the motions of ridding those things that no longer serves you. They have created these gaping holes or these voids within yourself. And now that's what causes the fluctuation. When you lay head to pillow at night, you feel like you're keeping up a charade. You're forcing yourself to do this, to feel this way because you feel like you have to. You're justified in doing that because why somebody or something, and it was probably blue, disappointed you in the past. What else do we have here? So we do have the moon. The um, There's a lot of cancer energy on this gold side, but it is a cancer energy that is hidden. So this Seven of Swords is very fitting because the sensitivity that is felt that is being displayed on this gold side is very, very um, um, hidden. It's very sneaky. It's like every now and again, I'm going to come in and like, you know, feel something and then I'm not going to let anybody know about it because, you know, I have to be, you know, no, no feelings man or no feelings woman. That's it. This is a front because it hurts and pains this side. And they're doing this because they're trying to shield themselves from the disappointment that they feel. What else is going on on this side? We also have the, see, I told you, they're upset. They're crying over spilled milk. They're, they're upset though. This is a breakup, dealing with a disappointment on my goal side, feeling like Blue should have done something else. There was something else that they expected. So they have pulled their energy back and they're trying desperately to let this Blue side go. Not only do they feel, do they feel disappointed? Let's talk about where we were. They revealed in the past how they felt with this Ace of Swords. They decided to come to the table and reveal their feelings. This is how I feel, Blue. This is what I want, Blue. I want you to do this. I want us to do this. They had the clarity. They had a newfound courage. They spoke their truth. But when they did that, Blue was also trying to do some things to fix something. And whatever was needed to be fixed 
it was not it it it, it did not meet the expectations of my goal side there was something that was being done Maybe that three of wands of trying to be the leader and trying to fix something was what Blue was doing for everything else except this relationship. Maybe whatever was trying to be fixed and glued and nailed and sawed just did not meet the mark for my goal side. So maybe because of that, the truth and clarity that they came into with this Ace of Swords in the in, in the past was that, you know what, or well, the energy that they're moving away from, you just don't love me. We're not good for one another. They have to tell themselves something on this goal side to get them to get out of this heartbreak that they're feeling. Now, again, I'm not about to argue with people about third parties. I told you guys, we got a lot of energy going on in Libra right now. We're not going to do it. I have told you guys that I feel like a third party. That's why I keep this uh, deck around because I think that it has definitely done. She has done an excellent job in explaining what it is. And I'm going to start making it very simple for you. Anything, people, places, and things that took their energy away from you that took their um it, that caused interference between you guys could represent this third sword they feel the gold side feels heartbroken there is a, a specific heartbreak here due to karmic contracts family finances and other material concerns or responsibility it caused interference and stress and when they came into the clarity where they maybe saw blue side, maybe all of that work that was being done was all of this work and being them being the leader. Maybe it was because of family. Maybe it was family, whatever. I mean, uh, finances, whatever it was, it wasn't this relationship. So it was easier for my goal side to feel very lonely and not they they feel like they were ignored. OK, so the only individual that is showing up here in a five is my goal side. OK, this is what they feel. And this is the reason why overall they are doing they are in that seven of of, of swords energy because they feel like they have they're in the mode of protection right now. They feel heartbroken. They're very sad. They feel lonely. And they don't feel like that the work that was done from Blue is enough. Or maybe they didn't interpret it as work. Maybe they didn't interpret it as it being fixed. Okay? That's what I see. A lot of good energy here. A lot of good energy. You choose the side. You may resonate a little bit with both of them. Then that means that it is the energy that surrounds your collective. Okay, for Libra, we're going to go in with my blue side. Do I still have a chance? Do I have a chance to love you again? What else do we feel over here on my blue side? Do I still have a chance is what we're leading with. Do I still have a chance because your intellect arouses me. They are very turned on by you You in the way that you articulate Libra. Don't li don't listen to these little cards and take them so literally. Oh, well, he's attracted to me. Oh, well, no, that's the only thing. But again, this is one of the things that they think about. It's not just that. You know what else obviously has made this a full-blown relationship? This person is in love with you. They're in love with you. What do we have? I don't know why this happened. So they're completely in the dark about what the, the role that they play. They're completely dumbfounded, guys. They have a three. And their three, they could have been working on all of these other things. And again, when they were dealing with all of those other things, you interpreted that that made you lonely, which means that they, they maybe blue decided to work on everything else and then you somehow felt ignored you did not feel like go that you got the attention that you truly wanted um they don't know why this happened they feel like 
they really are in the dark about how they hurt you. Therefore, they don't know how to fix it. And you may think that it's simple and they should know. Don't make it fit. This person really knows what they did, but doesn't know. This person could be an individual that just looks at things way too literal. Let me cut this timer off. Um, and not look at things and don't does not read between the lines well. So if there hasn't been a firm conversation on you did X, Y, and Z, we cannot expect people to read our minds, okay? That is what I'm feeling. And at the top of the deck, I don't know what comes next, okay? So they're truly in love with you and completely and utterly dumbfounded about how to fix this between you. They're, they're trying to figure it out. They want to talk to you. You're probably not accepting their calls, go, or making it easy to come and talk to you. Let's find out how you feel. You're definitely upset right now, but you really want to make amends. Exactly. And that kind of goes through back to that deception. You're not letting them know that you want to make amends, but secretly you do. You're holding on to your pain on this side. It's easy to be upset. It's harder to not be upset. I'm telling you, people, I want to be happy and da, 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 no, 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 no. Will you ever make things right? They want to make things right. The question is, is will you allow them to make things right? It may not look the way you want it to look. They want to sit down and have a conversation with you. Too many is coming out. See, I want to start over. I rest my case. The top of the deck is I saved your text messages. This person, the gold is suffering. My gold side is suffering. They really secretly want to start over. They're just too afraid to let their guard down because they do not want to feel this hurt. And honestly, when you have this much hurt in your heart, you can't even think about wanting to start over until you get over this. Okay. Now, tell me what this three of swords rec uh, represents for you. On my gold side, tell me on my blue side, what did you try to fix? What didn't gold understand? What were you trying to fix? Were you not listening to what their needs were? Were you doing it the way you wanted it to be done and, and, and showing them a love language that they couldn't understand? Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Thank you so much, Libra. This concludes your readings for this week. Please make sure that you vote, lovelies, and I will see you next week when we do it again. Bye.